Welcome everybody. Um, I know you probably already know this, that our farm was not able to plant corn this year and that it's kind of hurting. That we don't have the corn money coming in and since we're starting to go bankrupt and everything, guys. You already know that, but guys, uh, we did some modifications. We just bought a sheep thing, pasture, you, is that what a sheep, pa do you call it a sheep pasture, or is it called something else, I think it's called a sheep pasture, so we bought that, and we bought a new mower, because the mod that I had my mower, mod didn't work, for some reason, and yeah, I, it's not really a, it's around a 2000s mod, it's almost a 2000s piece of machinery, but yeah, so, uh, we're running this. It's gonna be a little bit sketchy trying to do this. Here's our old tractor that we use. well, that we still own these tractors, but here's my other tractor that I used to make the field. And use the tractor I bought with the uh, tether and all that. So, uh, yeah, we, we need to start making some hay. Um, so, we're using this to make hay because we need hay for our sheep right now. Uh, we're buying some sheep very soon so we're gonna use the hay from this for a sheep and then oh you know what I'm using this as an excuse I'm pulling out this tractor Now, I did say that we're not going to be using any of the tractors in the last video. I said that we're not using any of these tractors because we can't pay for gas. But the bees right now, I did not think that we were going to make that as much money as we are on bees. I think we're going to be good for, to go for this year. We're still going to be in debt from the buildings, like the bee buildings and stuff that we had to put up. And then, like, diesel and stuff, we might have a little bit of debt in that. Still can have depth for like putting up the fencing and all that stuff. But we have been just making money. Like, I think we're gonna make more money this year, guys. Honestly, I think we're gonna make more money than we made last year. Um here we go. Yeah, I really think we're gonna make more money. Because like, we're making, like, three harvests with hay, and then we're gonna have, um, another harvest with bees that we're gonna get more money from. Oh, no. So we just have to let the mower go a lot. Farther in front. Okay. So we've lowered it, I think. Yes, we have. So there's our first row. Where's my... Okay, there we go.
Okay, I don't really know what he's doing. So we're just gonna go around him. Very quickly turn on this baler. Lower it. Turn on. Okay, there's an issue with this. This tractor just stalls out whenever we put the bale on it, so... I just realized that the 8110 was already out mowing. That's... actually, that's alright. Because we don't want to have three pieces of equipment on right now. So you know what, we'll bring this tractor back in. We're sticking to two pieces of equipment. And hey guys, this is going to be a very long video, just because I'm still learning in this. Um, I'm learning how to do the hay still. And yes, we are going to get all the hay. Like, we're getting around the fields and stuff. We're going to have a path going down the fields. You know what I probably should have done, guys? This is now too late already, but I should have just gotten a crop. Like, soybeans or something. The Not soybeans, but like something that you could plant, like, late in the summer. So I should have done instead of just saying, oh, well, can't plant this year. Alright, well. I uh, we waste electricity. Okay, so what we're going to do is, before we get into any more debt, it's time to... Okay, so this one's 200. <sighs> okay. So we got... ...15 in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hey guys. Okay, so we right now need to get hay for a sheep. So we're gonna actually. So I'm tabbing over a lot in this video. We're gonna start... So we're gonna start just... Letting this guy run, letting that guy run. Once we get this field done, we need to start bailing it quick. And uh, I'm saying this, and I'm all rushing because if we lose 
I'm not joking, guys. If we lose our cattle, we're probably gonna just go right bankrupt. We're just gonna go right down the hill. I think that this trail will do. Okay, so we bought that trailer. Now we just need to buy. Buy, 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 buying things. This issue. Okay. Um... We need water. So if we go to container. Okay, so I guess we'll just place one of these right here. Hop in the pickup. And you know what we're going to do quick, guys, is to help the bank so they're not pulling out. So they're not making us pay even more as we'll slowly start paying them back. That way it doesn't interest up and get really expensive and stuff like that. So we're going to slowly start paying them back, too. So there we go. Got some hay that I can collect. Oh, you know what we can do? We can take these crates down. Yeah, we're, we're just trying to make money to survive right now we're going back to like the old times of the just wake up at 5 a.m work 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 just enough to just gotta get enough money to survive to get some food and all that and good to go but I gotta I gotta be able to pay taxes diesel and stuff like that so this is gonna be a lot out of me and holy cow those crates are heavy Sell these crates here at the farmer's market. I th think if we go take the crate like this. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Where can I sell crates? Okay, I sell them here. Alright, so we can make $600 a crate. And we get about two crate, a crate a day. Well, we get crates to... Well, it all depends on that, what the price are at the place. But that's good. Alright, we're going to do alright, I think. Um... Just a little nervous this year, because, you know, things could just all of a sudden go really bad, and I could have a ton of property taxes and stuff pop up, but I th think if we're careful, we'll make it. If we don't spend too much and start paying off our debts, we're gonna make, we're gonna make it. Guys, it is a big deal without the coin here this year. Because, because, because the corn does, it gives us a lot of money, that corn.
Okay, so, uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take, yes, I know, uh, we gotta take a little, Okay, they're full of water. <sighs> this is very scary. Alright, so we've got them water now. And we just need hay. We're gonna fold up that. We're gonna take this down now. This will go down the road here with us. Just somewhat of a road. You know what? I should mow this. I'm not mowing it yet, though. Because I'd have to do this and unfold everything, which we're not gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna unhook from that. Do not know what he's doing. Come on, line up. There we go. Okay, so we've got some bales being made. All that dude drives the thing in reverse. That is perfectly fine with me because I'm going to keep working. Okay, these are some small bales, but you know what, that might help us out, that might actually be really good, because if we get a ton of small bales, I can just load like five or six of them in the back of the truck, feed them to the uh, sheep, and then we'll be good to go. Oh, and you know what, there's a trailer hitch. Hmm, I wish I had a trailer for this baler. You know what, this might be good. I think that these two rows of grass right here is all I'm going to need for the uh, sheep. I don't think they're going to go through that many bales, but now let's change the size. To the biggest that we can make them. Okay. Alright, so now they're 93 centimeters, so we're not doing too bad. I do like the lights, those two lights that shows where my baler is at night. Those are going to be nice. They're helpful. So we're going to shut that off. I can turn it back on and, uh, oh, come on, we got to make it. There we go. Yeah, so it kind of just throws the bales. Okay, those are perfect size bales. We can come around with the pickup truck and pick those up. I think that we could fit most of those in the back of the big Ford, but I don't want to take the big Ford truck out in the rain. I'm going to just bring my little one out. Just bring that big one out. It's just going to get it rusting out, and we don't have money to fix that. <clears throat> alright. Just kind of throwing the bales wherever, but that's alright. These bales are meant to go into a trailer. I think that's what we're gonna do. I think what we're gonna do is pick up one of those trailers and then uh, 
that's going to cost a lot of money, but that'll save us a lot of time. If we pick up one of those trailers, we can bail with. Yeah, that guy is... Uh Having a couple problems, I think. Okay. Hey, yo, stop, stop, stop the tractor. I need money right now. Not people wasting my time. Put four, like three hours on it, just going backwards. So we've got our, uh, our bales, and we're done. Gonna unload that. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we'll just leave this equipment out here. He'll hopefully stop fooling around. <sighs> no, we. Mm, ah, the other. We're starting this truck up and we're bringing this one out. What in the? What in the world? I'm a good driver, don't worry. See? Look at how perfect that was. Not gonna lie, I almost crashed there. Throw a couple of these in the back of the pickup. Oh, well, can we... Oh, let's try and push them because we do have those little rubber front stop thing. No, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah. That's a good bailer. Holy cow. It's a very strong bailer. Kind of just gonna, like, throw a couple in here. If you had a bale wrapper. It'd take like an hour, because you'd have to wrap each one of these. It'd take forever just to set it up. It'd be like half a second wrapping it. It'd take forever to wrap, like, get the bale set up to wrap these bales. Because they're so small. Can I just, like, yes! Just start dropping some bales in. I should have done this in the 1980s. Okay, so they've got water, they've got food, they look happy, and I'm ready for money. Alright, well, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Um, sorry, this is a very long video. I was just really trying to learn how to, um... You like that food, don't you? I was trying to learn how to uh, do this with the hay and stuff. But guys, I think that we're going to make enough money that we're going to be able to stop the vibe perfectly fine without the corn this year. Yeah, it's going to be a little difficult, but, you know, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I mean, if I have to, I can sell, like, that light and get, like, $12,000 for that big light. And I can probably sell, like... If I really have to, I could sell 
my gravity wagons and my big gooseneck and stuff and get like I can get like thirty thousand dollars for this gooseneck trailer because of how big it is it's nice but yeah I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start stacking up um crates of like honey inside here we might just stack them up on that trailer and then just pull them off as we want to sell them so but yeah all right well i'll see you guys in the next video and i'm gonna just keep grabbing these honey crates that i didn't pick up Um, I guess we'll just start, like, a row right here. Alright, well, see you guys later. I'm gonna keep making hay.